Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Monday the 31st of July 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. I give one question readings in there. So if you've got a burning question for your higher self, you can book in for one of those mini reads on my website BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. I'll do it at the start of the next live show and then send you the link to the replay so you don't need to come live if you don't want to or if you can't make it because the time zone is incompatible um you can also come live as well and book it while i'm live and if you're interested in a private reading with me they're available from my website too you can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them if it says it's sold out it's just sold out for the day and if you've got questions for your reading then click on the contact us page on my website after you've booked in you can put your questions in there so let's get straight into the reading and find out what's going on for everyone today we've got transcendence getting over something build a bridge and get over it transcending something so something changing perhaps an emotional situation that you've been in it's changing right now we've got a threshold so something's about to happen feeling different about something and something about to happen and i've got an itchy left palm What's that meant to mean? Is that like receiving money? I hope so. <laughs> that would be nice. Is it the right giving and the left receiving or is it the other way around? We've got stillness. So you could be like in anticipation of something about to happen. What's about to happen, guides? Tell us. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, this is someone else's energy. This is someone perhaps that's in charge of the money or... Um, could be yeah it could be someone that pays you but it could be someone that's very stable husband material could be a boss it could be brother um stable kind of a person oh we've got the two of cups this could be what is about to happen as well remember we've got the threshold card coming out so a love match someone that's right for you perhaps a love offer coming in from them tell us more the hierophant we could be talking long term, some like long term opportunity or relationship, um, job, career. Hierophant's also doing things by the book, but it indicates some kind of um, lasting power in it for the long term. The Emperor and the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. It could have a divine masculine here that is a wounded warrior, wary of getting things into it. Public service announcement for Americans. Wary and weary are two different words. W-A-R-Y is wary. That means that you're unsure of someone, perhaps a little fearful of them, wary. Like, you know, if there's like an aggressive dog, you'd be wary of an aggressive dog. Weary, W-E-A-R-Y. R-Y is being tired. You're tired of something. I'm weary of it now. I'm weary of working, that kind of thing. Two different words. Americans get it wrong. So there you go. Public service announcement. So they're weary. See, she's weary. No, she's wary. <laughs> no, I'm saying it wrong. She's wary. She's like, mm. so wounded before. It makes us wary. We're not sure we should get into something. Divine masculine is that. Tell us more. King of Pentacles, tell us about this King of Pentacles, this stable person, perhaps someone that is paying you or in control of your money in some kind of a way or material stuff, could be a landlord, something like that, you know, someone that's in charge of something, ton of emotions, could actually be husband material as well, we could be talking about our love lives today, ton of emotions is your happily ever after, this could be somebody offering you a job or, um, or a promotion, that's going to really fulfill you and it could be somebody offering you a relationship as well that's going to really fulfill you for the long term because the ten of emotions is the happily ever after card is someone honoring your energy anyway whatever you've been putting out for if you've been feeling that you're deserving something now and you're wanting that then it's coming your way but we've got the threshold card so you might just be on the on the kind of doorstep of this now two of cups a love match love offer tell us about this two of cups Two of Cups energy. Two of Cups energy. Two of Cups energy. 
the fool, diving into it, taking a chance on it, being courageous and starting something off. So someone could be courageous today and coming toward you. You could be courageous and telling someone your feelings, that kind of thing. What's behind that is ascension, raising our vibrations. So if you've been kind of on the sidelines looking at someone, not sure whether to go for it, then you could be both raising your vibes today and making a move toward each other. The Hierophant, we've got long-term commitment kind of an energy here. Business, relationships. Tell us why the Hierophant is here. Oh, the Muse of Inspiration, we've got the King of Wands here. So that is someone who comes in and claims you, like you're mine, or I want you to work for me. And the very go-getter kind of a person, this one. And the Six of Inspiration, there's going to be victory with this. Um, so this could be a very fiery, passionate kind of character coming towards you. A lot of the, well, this could be anything really, but I'm, I'm thinking like, for some of us, this is going to be about relationships someone passionately coming towards you today for some it could be like a new job but it's going to be a very um hard to say no to it i would say N not in a bad way not in someone manipulating you but it feels like a good fit to me there's a new day that's behind this as well so this really could stick around for, for long term as well but what's this the emperor's a little weary wary <laughs> Now I've said the public service announcement. I say it wrong every time. Page of materials and the muse of materials. That's King of Pentacles again, page of materials. So they're offering you a little bit first of all, right? Okay. So they're coming in and it's a love match and all of that. And they're coming because you're, you're theirs. But even though they're the divine masculine, they've been hurt in the past. So they're going to offer a little page of materials, even though like the the stable and secure they're just going to offer a little so this is not any grand gestures or anything like that um perhaps taking you out on a date or something like that yes but it's not going to be like flying you to paris and <laughs> I, I doubt very much anyway let me know if they do that kind of thing but somebody taking it slowly psychic development is behind that so yeah i think it's someone taking it slowly someone just being careful tell us more about our love lines acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control now i was getting a message strongly from this of don't try don't try and rush things along accept where things are now don't try and speed up and get to the next level um faster just go with the flow and enjoy the start of something here often we try to speed things up and to get things more intimate or to the next level before it's really time to because we feel uncomfortable and perhaps anxious where we're, we're at at the moment. Don't do that. Deal with your anxiety instead. Practice gratitude. Practice gratitude for where you're at at the moment instead of trying to speed things along. We have differences. Could be differences in approaches. Differences in lifestyles, perhaps. Getting to know somebody's differences. We've got gifts here as well, so you could be receiving a gift. Let me know what it is. Are oh, they taking you to Paris? Taking you to Paris for dinner in a helicopter. Openness. Oh, it'd, it'd be a long journey from here to Paris. We've got openness, but not to Bangkok. That would be quite short openness so someone being open with you and problem heartbreaking the past is a problem so someone being open but moving slowly and being a little bit guarded is what this is saying because of a broken heart in the past and also differences coming out as well could have you thinking oh is this really the right person for me like we're not going to get like a complete match right someone that's exactly like us because that would be really boring anyway but we do want to be compatible, right? And have a lot of things in common. Um, differences might scare you. Um, or be scaring the other person as well. Like, can this fit together? Can we fit together? Will this work kind of thing? So I think it's just a slow start that we're talking about here. What else in the energies today? We've got an older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. What about this older man? What about the older man? 
ink pot, problems to be resolved with an older man. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So we could be talking about an older man in business here, problems coming about with that. We've got a key here, successful outcome to your problem. So it seems that that is going to be a success. What else in the energies today? Discord amongst friends and family. That could be in the workplace as well. We've got advice from a friend with a dog barking. And Beryl, you feel like something's lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money or goals. And this could be what you're on the precipice, on the threshold of it, of it changing. Remember, the stillness card came out. So you could be changing how you feel about something and be in that stillness before something is about to happen. You could be feeling that about to happen energy being around at the moment and preparing yourself for that. So, think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly. Of course, the green being yes and the red being no. But this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull one of these crystals out of my bag for a specific question that you've got and cards, of course, as well, you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website, behealing.com. I'll pop a link for it down there. There's also a link for that up there too. And I will do it at the start of the next live show that I do and then send you the link to the replay so you can watch it back. Or you can come live and book while I'm live too. Or book beforehand and come live. Um, I can also use those in private readings, of course, too. Um, so book in for one of those. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. Get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them. It says it's sold out. It's just sold out for the day. Do check back a day or so later. And... After you've booked in, click on the Contact Us page, put any questions that you've got for your reading in there. How best to deal with these energies today? We've got the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is another Happily Ever After card, but it's about building that, building towards your Happily Ever After, putting those things in place um, to, build, to build that. So you could be, again, it could be about career, it could be about your love life, this, but get get building get building your happily ever after and know that it's a process it's a journey it's always a journey right not a destination so think of a yes or no answer question now pause the video if you're not ready for your answer your answer is yes go for it there you go thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button um, if you're new, um, because I do an energy update like this every single day of the year, I go live three times a week in that Psychic Cafe show as well. And I make three Love Picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now. Watch that next if you want. Well, have the best day ever and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.